My name is Kunjan Nagarsheth. Uh, everyone calls me KJ. I'm a faculty member here at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Uh, I'm in the Department of Surgery in the Division of Vascular Surgery. I'm the medical director of the Office Space Laboratory here. I co-direct the Limb Preservation Program. I'm the medical director of the Vascular Progressive Care Unit and I'm the medical director of the uh, NIH Imaging Core Lab here at the university. So I do three things every day. I um, teach the residents and fellows vascular surgery. Um, I take care of patients on a daily basis, and I do research. So the primary focus of my practice at this point is uh, limb preservation, um, preventing amputation, and uh, working with peripheral arterial and peripheral venous disease. I also direct our um, center or uh, program on compressive disorders. So I deal with a lot of vascular compressive disorders like uh, renal vein entrapment or nutcracker, median arcuate ligament, uh, May Thurner, and SMA syndrome. For the peripheral arterial disease, um, what we do is we are very aggressive in getting blood flow down when there is no blood flow. And this is for people that have pain in their legs or wounds that aren't, aren't healing. And uh, the vast majority of patients that come to me are people that have been told they need an amputation. And in those patients, we have about a 60% rate of uh, preventing the amputation in patients that were referred for an amputation. So I'm boarded in general surgery, I'm boarded in trauma surgery, I'm boarded in critical care surgery, I'm boarded in acute care surgery and vascular surgery. I actually became a vascular surgeon to become a better trauma surgeon because that was my first love. I trained here at Shock Trauma. And uh, I fell in love with vascular surgery during my training. I fell in love with the patient population, especially the ones that have uh, leg wounds and need amputations uh, to try to prevent that, and I fell in love with these uh, venous and vascular compressive disorders. So that turned me from a trauma surgeon to a vascular surgeon. It's one of the most rewarding things I do is um, when someone's been referred for an amputation, we're able to save the leg, and they can come walking into my office. Um, that's probably one of the most rewarding things for me as a clinician. And uh, I tell the patients up front that these things are long shots, but if we can do it, we'll do it together. And I'm there with them the entire way, uh, every step of the way. And I have a bunch of patients that come dancing into my office after everything's said and done, their legs saved, and they're so happy.